Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. In this video, I'm going to be looking at Windows Startup Repair, which I talk about in Chapter 11 of the book. Windows 7 contains some really useful tools for detecting and automatically repairing problems with Windows 7 Startup. By default, these uh, utilities will automatically kick in if Windows fails to boot three times and they'll try and find a repair, but there are other options available to you and there are several ways to get to them. The easiest way is to press the F8 key on your keyboard uh, before the Windows logo appears but after the BIOS boot screen and you'll see this menu here. From here you want to select repair your computer. Once in the recovery options, you'll be prompted with a menu, and there are several options to choose from here. Let's go through each one in turn and look at them. Startup Repair runs an automatic troubleshooter that can fix common problems that prevent Windows 7 from starting. System Restore allows you to roll back critical operating system files to an earlier point, perhaps before you've installed a new piece of software, a hardware driver or a Windows update that are causing Windows 7 to malfunction. System Image Recovery allows you to restore the entire operating system from a backup image. You need to create one of these yourself and I'll talk about how to do this in a minute. The Windows Memory Diagnostic can help detect physical hardware problems with your computer's memory. And the Command Prompt gives you access to a scripting environment where you can perform advanced recovery and diagnostic operations. In order to perform a system image recovery, you first need to create a backup copy of your Windows installation, which you can do from the Control Panel. In the System and Security section, you want to click the link back up your computer. In the blue panel on the left hand side there's an option to create a system image. Now you'll need an external hard drive, another internal hard drive or a series of DVDs to save this image onto. And you might want to install your software and configure Windows 7 how you want it before you create the image. Just below that is an option to create a system repair disk. You can boot from this CD or DVD and access the recovery console and the system repair options that we looked at a moment ago. While you can choose repair your computer from the advanced boot options in Windows 7 and also use a startup repair disk to get straight to the startup repair options, you can also get to them through the Windows 7 installation DVD. When you boot from this, you'll be first asked what language you want to install in. Just simply click through this and at the next screen, instead of pressing the Install Now button, click Repair Your Computer. This will take you to the automated repair options and then the repair menu that we saw earlier. There's much more information on the startup repair options in the book and in Chapter 13 I also talk about how to recover your operating system from the perpetual restart. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.